Hello and welcome to our YouTube video. Today we would be going over an example that centers on comparing variances of two populations. We'd walk you through how to solve it using R, and then we'd also go through the question and um, walk you through how to develop the hypothesis test basically the null and alternate hypothesis um, for this question. And then we'd also come up with a, with a conclusion um, as well, right? Should I say business conclusion as well? All right, so the question says, the variance in a production process is an important measure of the quality of the process, right? It's, um, I'm an industrial engineer myself and, uh, you know, when, you, when you're looking at manufacturing or production of any kind of uh, product, quality is very important because the customer wants to make sure that if they're buying your product, your quality is either at the standard or it exceeds the standard. No customer wants to buy a poor, a, a poor quality um, product. So you have to ensure that... Um, the variation coming out from your production process is very, very small, right? So a large variance often signals an, an opportunity for improvement in the process by finding ways to reduce the process variance. So we're just looking at a company called Hershey's, right? Hershey's Candy Company. So they're basically testing two machines that use different technologies to fill three pound bags of jelly beans, right? So our variance or our hypothesis testing would now be based off those two machines, right? That the company is trying to fill. Um, the file, so we have the, the file called bags. So um, we'd have the link in the description of the YouTube video and that would take you to the, um, our GitHub page where you can download the file called bags. Um, it contains a sample of data on the weights of, of, of bags filled by each machine, basically the two machines. So now we're being asked to conduct a statistical test to determine whether there's a significant difference between the variances and the bag weights for the two machines. And we're giving alpha as 0 0.05. What's your conclusion? And then which machine, if either, provides the greater opportunity for quality improvement. So we would analyze the data, come up with our business conclusion, and try to see if we can answer that last question that says, which machine, if either, provides the greater opportunity for quality um, improvements. All right, so I'm going to open up R, and let's start having some fun. OK, so. So the first thing I want to basically do is define my parameters. So I have it as var1, right, which basically stands for variance one. And I say that is the population variance of machine one. And then var2, which is population variance of machine two. Right, I have those two things defined. Now I can set up my null and alternate, right? And basically, if you look at the question, it says conduct a statistical test to determine whether there is a significant difference between the variances in the bag weights for two machines, right? So basically, we're looking at significant difference, right? So this here literally lets us know that we're dealing with a situation where um, it is two-sided, right? So our alternate would be not equal to and our null would be um, equal to. So for me, I love to start with the alternate first. So not equal to this, and then this would just be variance one equal to variance two. So that's basically how we set that up. 
So the next thing we want to do now is to import import the data. Yikes. So import the data. Uh, remember to load your library function because you need that, right? So the read Excel helps us to load Excel into R. And then I'm just going to store that loaded data as bag underscore data, right? And then use my Excel function with Excel. Uh, file, but choose. Okay. Load this. Load this. And then I will choose my data there. So I basically choose my downloaded data. So what I like to do first is basically just visualize the data. Right, take a look at the data. You know, here it says it has 25 observations and two variables, right? So I'm just gonna look at it. And this is basically all of the, the what's it called? Um, the weight of the bags. So we have 20, 25, 25 bags, right? From this, basically 25 observations. So 25 bags from the two machines, right? Which is in pounds, right? So this means, 2.2 pounds and 95 ounces, three pounds and 22 ounces, and so on and so forth, right? Um, but then as we as we scroll down, you could see that mission one has 25 bags, but mission two only has 22 bags. So it's missing three rows, right? So we can assume that those three rows were not collected, right? So now when we do our code, we need to exclude those three rows from our data, right? So I'm going to show you in a bit how to do that. So if you, if you, um, as you visualize your data, if you discover that you have missing rows, you could use the function called na.omit, right? And it would help you take out all the na values or missing values or blank rows from your data. So basically we're just doing some, some data pre-processing, right? So, I'm just going to say remove missing values, right? So our missing value is basically in the second machine. So I'm just going to say machine two and just call it data. And I'll save that there, na.omit. And then here I call our um, initial data from line number 10, right? Then I use the dollar sign to select the specific column I want to focus on, right? Which is machine two. So then the other thing I could do is that we could extract the samples um, from each machine and basically just have it as a vector, right? So, but before I do that, let me run line number 13 first. All right, so I've run line number 13. So you can see it now. We don't have 22 observations anymore. We now have 22 observations, right? So we've taken out the three rows that were, that were missing. So now I'm just going to extract it and make it a vector. So here I say bag. So I first extract the first uh, machine one. And then for machine two, right, I am not going to call the main data because if you call the main data, you would have, um, you would still have 25 observation with the missing um, uh, rows in it. Rather, what we're going to do is we're going to use line number 13, right, which is our cleaned data. So I'm just going to say machine two underscore data. So let's call this and call this one, right? So you could see there, machine one, 25 um, observations or 25 rows, machine two, 22 rows. The other thing I would do is we could basically calculate the, um, the sample variances, right? So, Okay, so here I just say uh, machine one underscore variance. And then if you do using the function variance, right? And then we'll just say machine one. Right? 
So VAR is basically the um, the function on R to calculate variance. So I basically called line number 16 and 17 in here. So if we run it, you could see the variance here, the output is here. So the variance is basically 0 0.04, or let's just say 0 0.05, right? That's our variance. Uh, the other thing you could do is we could just say machine underscore variance. Uh, Right, so if you run that, oh, sorry, mission one. Yeah, so if you run it, you have your variance down here, right, 0 0.05. So we could do the same thing for the other one. Mission two variance. All right, so the output there. Uh, 0 0.01, right. Um, so just looking at this, you could see that the variance for machine two is very small compared to that of machine one, right? So we'd use that later on to basically answer one of the questions that we were asked, but let's let's continue for now, right? So now let's go ahead and perform um, our test statistics. So for comparing variances of two populations, Right, we have to use the F test, right? So the F test is basically what we use um, for this calculation. And uh, the equation is like the variance for the first population divided by the variance for the second population, right? That's basically the equation. But with R, we have a function that we could use to do that. And it basically just makes life easy, right? You don't have to worry about anything. So it's called variance.test, right? So you can see the F test to compare two variances, right? It performs an F test to compare the variances of two samples from a normal um, populations. So please take note of that. So all we do here is just say machine one. So basically we're still using line 16 and 17, and then machine two, and then you want to call the alternative. So from here, if you remember from line five and six, it is two-sided, right? So all you just want to do is say two-sided. If it's greater than, then you make it greater than here. If it's less, then you say less, right? So please take note um, of that. And then this outputs the test results. So let's run this and then this. So here you have your test result, right? F test to compare two variances. And you can see our data is from machine one and machine two. Our F statistics is 8.28. You have a degree of freedom of 24 for the numerator and then 21 for the denominator. Our p-value is very, very small, right? That's 0, 0.000. Right, it is very, very small. So um, as usual, we could have our interpretation. And I'd like to just say p-value 0, 0.00, right? And we're given alpha as 0 0.05, right? So we could just say that is less than alpha, which is 0 0.05. So we reject HO, right? There is a there's a significant no, no. I'd like to say there's a statistically significant difference between the variance. There's a statistically significant difference between yeah, the variances in the bag weights for the two machines. So that's basically how we would 
interpret our result, right? Um, so that basically, oops, that basically takes care of this, right? And it also helps us to address that question. So we've basically solved two questions. Now, the last question says, which machine, if either, provides the greater opportunity for quality improvement, right? So here is where we come back to lines 21 and 23, right? And you could see that machine two has a small variance, but machine one has a, a higher variance. So basically, if we're looking at somewhere to improve, we we'll basically focus on machine one, right? How can we reduce the variance coming out of machine one, right? So that's um, uh, an area that we have to focus on, right? So that's basically how to um, utilize R to do a hypothesis test or compare um, two variances. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video to the end. Please, if you find it interesting, please like the video and um, please help us to uh, help to subscribe as well. Um, thank you so much.